I want to say good afternoon to everyone that is watching on Facebook Live. Today, we have a wonderful show today. Bell mm -hmm. Video and All Your Service Podcast. And I'm excited. And I know you that is waiting for this show should be excited because we have a special guest, a world known mm. lady. Mm. Her name is Maddie J. Yes. I have been following this lady for almost a year now. I'm not a, a new puppy. I'm a kind of old puppy. Now I kind of graduated a little bit now. <laughs> and this lady have blessed my soul. Wow. I, I tell you the truth, the laughter that she bring into an individual life, I wouldn't take nothing for it. But before I begin this interview, as always, we give our guests the opportunity to come in mm -hmm. and to introduce themselves. Mm -hmm. And I know everybody that on Facebook Live, and y'all know Mary J, but I want Mary J to come her own way. Okay. To Mary J, it's in your hand. Okay. Hey, good evening. Thank you so much, Brother Bell, for having me on your show, your podcast. I appreciate it. I don't know a whole lot about it. I, I'm not very fluent in social media stuff. But uh, my granddaughter helped me get on. That's the that's only reason why I'm on here successfully. But uh, my name is Matty J, M-A-T-T-I-E. The second T is silent. I am the church protocol and paraphernalia analyst for the Southeast region. And uh, Matty J is just happy to be amongst people who enjoy just each other. I, I like people who love other people, regardless of my fighting history. Uh, I still love people. And when I came on social media, Facebook TV, I got what I call my Publix. And my Publix is really like uh, people would say the fan base, but I don't like to call them fans. I like to call them Publix because is involved in the public arena. Mm -hmm. And so Maddie J just enjoy down home, good people. And that's why I talk to them all the time. I try to talk to them at least once a week. But I'm happy that you said you is now a seasoned public. Bro, I appreciate that very much. Just tuning in and things. And especially specifically, having me on your podcast. Mm -hmm. thank, you. thank you so much. I tell you the truth. Uh, like I said in the beginning of the show, I'm excited and I knew, I know the public is excited just to see and to hear you, uh, Matty J. Yes, sir. Uh, I want to start out, first of all, because this business that you in, I call a business, this business that you are in, uh -huh. It blesses. It blesses a lot of people. Wow! When mm -hmm. they was might be down, mm -hmm. but after they listen and see you, they get up and they feel better. They want to do better. Joy come back into their soul. Wow! That that what you're doing is a ministry. Yes. That yes. is blessing someone's spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I want first to thank you for what you do. Sister Matty J, I want to first of thank you what you do. Thank you, sir. Thank because, you. Because uh, it's uplifting. It's uplifting and it just put joy inside of you. Keep you laughing and laughter. Laughter's good for the soul. Yeah. Oh, that's the word. That's the word of Lord thy God. Yes. Good, good uh -huh. for the soul. But I want to ask you, uh, Sister Matty J. Yes, sir. How did you get into this? Um. It started, uh, well, if you want to just be specific, I've been this way all of my days, uh, all of my days. In fact, my mama told, 
told me personally that she thinks she got the wrong baby from the hospital because uh -huh. she's so quiet spirited and things. But mm -hmm. how I got on the social media was in 2015. Mm -hmm. uh, a good pastor friend of mine wanted me to do a skit with him because he mm -hmm. cuts up me and him cut up all the time. And we did a skit called The Kitchen Committee. Okay. And, uh -huh, and it was about uh, how the kitchen committee, people steal the food, the good food, and uh, give the uh, church members the, the uh, stove-out food. That's true. That's very true, because I've done it plenty of times. And so we did a skit about that. It, it, it went virus. Uh, we had like 13 million uh, viewers to come in. And then so we just started going from church to church doing that skit. Well, with him being a pastor, he had, you know, see after his flock. But the Lord thy God spoke to me and just said, continue doing these relatable uh, skits and things. Because people, people know from the community, they know they know what we do and what we talk about and, and how we interact with each other. And so that, I think that's what made people gravitate to Maddie J. But I started in 2015. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And let me pause also before I go to my next question. I okay. want everybody that is watching this now, please share this broadcast out. Share this broadcast out. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I want everybody all over the mm -hmm. world to be able to be a part of this broadcast. Mm. We have Matty J, the one and only Matty J live on this video and all your service podcast coming from Roanoke, Alabama. My Lord, my Lord. The next question, Miss Matty J, I want to ask you, I have uh, been watching you as you travel across this country. Yes. Let's talk about this the last trip you had, and I, I watched you. When you got caught into that snowstorm, you were- Oh, yeah. How did that make you feel? It, it For one, it made me realize that there's a Lord thine God that watches over us. Because mm -hmm. I'm telling you, if you had been watching the news about the people that had been stranded on I-95 because that is the highway that we was on. It 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 just blessed my soul that the Lord thy God enabled us to pull off side of the road mm -hmm. and get sheltered just in time. Now we did skid if you watch that video that I took about the uh the uh our rescue person in the record truck that came yeah it's a it was a mess. He came, he was of Africa's descent, African American, Le Shout Man. And he came and rescued us and things like that. And it was it was a lot that I thought because we could have got been stranded back there. But mm -hmm. after he rescued us, we went on to our hotel. And I'm telling you, it really brought about awareness to Matt <laughs> Day. It really did. It really did. Right. Next question. <laughs> the next question, Miss Manager, I, I, I get so tickled. I mean, I get I get tickled so bad when you talk about your mother-in-law. No, uh, it's honey. You know, it, it's really tickled. <laughs> it tickles me. <laughs> let's, let us kind of talk about your mother-in-law just a little bit. Do we have to? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. If we have to, I will. Please. Okay. Oh, well, I will. Yes, sir. You, uh, this your show. I'm gonna do what you asked me to do. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Tell me what, 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 what did you ask me a question? If you did, I got cut off. Yes, uh, I want you to kind of talk about your mother-in-law a little bit. Miss Honey. Hold, hold, wait one minute. Let me take my suit of fed. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. 
Okay. Anything in particular you want to know about Miss Honey? Just anything? Or you just want me to generalization? Generalization. Okay. Miss Hunt, of course, is Herman's mother. Um, Miss Honey, uh, she is, since I know, she breathes on oxygen tanks. <laughs> and she have two, she, she got a two tank set that she carry with her all the time. I have been accused of turning it off. One of them, I know particularly, uh, when she was running her mouth too much. And so I told her that her tanks was overflowing. So I just turned the meter down. Didn't know that it was putting her life in jeopardy. Didn't know that. But, uh, Miss Honey antagonizes me. I feel like. See, Herman is her favorite son. Herman got a bunch of brothers. All of them is mustard. <laughs> and, uh, He's a mustard. And uh, Herman <laughs> is of less, his mustard is of lesser degree. And so I think he is her favorite son because of his low muscularization. And so she expects him, she just expects him to still be that free son and she just forget that he married, you know, mm -hmm. and she can become disrespectful at times. Mm -hmm. So I think that's why we be into it all the time, Mr. Bale. Like, thank you, I just, I just had to hear a little bit about your mother-in-law. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. The next question, uh, Yes. I've been also watching you. You were talking about a cruise. Have that yeah. cruise took place yet? Has it been what now, sorry? Have it took have it took place yet? Oh no. You... The cruise is gonna be May 7th through May 12th. It's going to be for Mother's Day. It's a Mother's Day cruise to Cozumel, Mexico. And uh Magic J is gonna do two shows. On that cruise. My, now, my cruise lady, her name is uh, Yolanda Jones. And if anybody's interested, I'm going to send you the information because she's still taking uh, people that want to go. So far, we got 37 rooms already booked, but she said she still got room for a few more. Just what is it? You know, I think the, the closeout. <laughs> Uh, but we're gonna have a good time on that cruise. Yeah. Leaving out of Louisiana. Louisiana, okay. Great. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. I was I was I was kind of watching the live you were talking about that uh uh Maddie J. And it seemed it seemed it's gonna be very interesting that cruise would be. Uh-huh. I would love if it was some kind of way, I would love to be a part of that crew because I know you're gonna lay it down. Oh yeah. Show. Oh, we're gonna have a good time. Because we're going to be saluting the women uh, and things like that. So, uh, we, oh, Mad J, we're going to talk. We're going to have one. And one is going to be on Mother's Day. And then we it's, it's to be announced when the other show going to be. But it's going to be two shows. And we're going to have a, lot, a good time. Uh huh. If the Lord say so. Uh -huh. Great. Let, let me go to the uh, audience for a while, Mary Jane. We got a lot of people on Facebook Live asking some questions and making okay. statements. I want okay. to I want to go ahead and uh my cousin uh Sonia Jones is on there. Okay. And she wanna know about the Ursha Bowl, back to the Ursha Bowl. Okay, okay. Uh Sonia, if, if, if I will say this, I don't know if you know I go around teaching. Uh, classes on the on on the Usher Bowl, but my squad, I tell you what our qualifications is. You gonna have to uh, we we do background checks because we want you to we want to make sure you got a record. We want people with felonies, <laughs> uh, people who have been in jail several occasions, several offenses, uh, but still at the same time. They got to be able to follow instructions that Matt and Jay give. But if we check your background and we look over your background and you ain't got no misdemeanors or felonies, 
preferably felonies, then you can't be on, on our usher boat. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Having a, back, a criminal background is a part of one of the prerequisites of being one of our usher. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Also, I want to tell the audience that uh, watching live on Facebook, if you got a question that you want to ask, please put in the comments, and I will kind of uh, relay it to Madam J, and she mm -hmm. will kind of answer it for you. So please go ahead and put in the comments. Oh, yeah. And I will relay it to, to Madam J. <laughs> so uh, what's your next event you are out of town? Are you going anywhere in the near future out of town on uh huh. And on Friday, we're having a comedy show in Jonesboro, Georgia. We're gonna be uh, it's gonna it's gonna be a comedy show. Uh, the church is the name of the church, Lord Hammer, Rama Wynn, and uh, we gonna be in Jonesboro on Friday doing a comedy show. Show is seven o'clock. I don't have I don't know the address and everything. I put it on my page. I'll send it to you as well. I don't mind my doing that. But yeah, Friday, we're going to be in Georgia. And then the next week, we're going to be back in Chi-Town. It's going to be our third time going to Chi-Town in less than six months. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have another question that have put in the comments. They want to know, okay. they want to know the lady that was trying to talk to Herman, have you, have you uh, dealt with her yet? Which one? It's me so many. Is, is, she, is she talking about today's incident? Yeah, I believe she's talking about today's incident. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking about when I went to the post office yes. and Herman had a crimson. Mm -hmm. And now he just he showed out. He got a crimson <laughs> from one of my publics. And now he thinks he can have his own public and things like that. She bought him a massage. A massage. <laughs> bought a massage. Joe did. Joe did. Uh huh, and I gonna find out who it is. What, what is it? She gonna I'm gonna find out who it is. Uh, see, see that he he getting in. If you don't stay your neck back in there, don't come this my life, Mr. Bell. He just orders me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, he's been showing out. She is. I believe it was a bright skinned bow legged one from Louisiana. I know who she is. And I sent a message out to her. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and, and also, they want to know about that bow-legged suit that Herman wears. Yeah. <laughs> Herman got a blue suit that he bought his expenses. And I think that's why I make him look like his bow leg. Because he's it's like a, an Italian brand. And all them Italian suits kind of make your leg look like it's got just a slight bow. He his leg, his leg looked like a parenthesis when he put them on. And so I tell him whenever he wears a suit, I gotta be with him because it attracts women. They be looking, you know how the bow legged uh suits and stuff be is it not the suits, but bow legs in style. And so when the women at church see him, they just go crazy and things like that. And I had to be on him. Because he can't control himself at all. At all. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Next question. Next question is that Roosevelt. Now, I'll I be listening to about Roosevelt and them children. And his ugly grandchildren? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Jesus, help me. Uh, Roosevelt, that's my brother. He's my oldest brother. And he was in charge. He he got custody of his grandchildren. Really, truly, it's his great grandchildren because his granddaughter is the one that's just out, just doing whatever she wants to do. And uh, I met them a couple of years ago, about two or three years ago, on, on Halloween. And uh, that was my first time meeting them. I didn't know them children was like that. I did not know them children would like that because when I met them it was around Halloween time I was visiting Roosevelt because he had hurt his knee and I said I asked Roosevelt I said who them why they wear they mess on the inside of the house and uh, Roosevelt told me that they, that's just how they heels one of them 
look like Mick Jaguar and the other one glow in the dog. Whenever the light go out, he just he's just sat in the corner and glowing. Yeah. That's that that that. And those my that's I yeah. don't even know them children real names, cause that's what I call them. Mick Jaguar, yeah. glow in the dog. <laughs> uh huh. Then they, yeah. Then they question about they ask uh, uh Sonya ask another question. I will give an opportunity to ask another question. Of course it is this. Okay. Yeah, Do the have the pastor allowed you uh to back Urshan again? I'm on temporary leave. Uh, one thing about it is because I've been out of town doing my shows and things, that counts toward me getting back in fellowship. But I was on temporary leave for the, uh, the last incidental that we had at church with Big Five President May when she sung the song, He Touched Me. Okay. And Herman was looking at her. <laughs> like he, she was singing the hymn and thing, and we got to fight at church. And so Pastor kind of told me, he kind of told me that I, he, you know, I'm primarily suspended. But I've been on the road, so I, that got to count towards. That got to count towards my lead, because I've been on the road anyway, so I ain't been at church. Mm. Uh-huh. Next question. Next question is, they want to know, how is you and Ruby Jean doing? I we been doing. We ain't. <laughs> I can't stand her just like I can't stand her mammy, Miss Honey, her mother, Ruby <laughs> Jean, her sister. We I I can't stand them. I can't stand them. that, and that's that's why we is able to contend with each other because they know where I stand. They know mm. and they know that my stand is I can't stand them. So mm. it works out beautiful. I think. Mm. Next question. Uh, I believe that's all the questions the puppet done put on my timeline. Okay. Know? Okay. But man, I'm just so glad to have you. And, yes, and when, sir. And when I, uh, when you uh, accepted this invitation, I told you I was gonna keep you more about thirty minutes, no way. So I'm gonna okay. kind of stick. I will stick to my what I said. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Because I won't. I might get you back again sometime. Okay. So. Sure. Is it is it the last words you want to leave the audience, uh, Maddie J? Uh, again, I want to thank you mm -hmm. for having me, and I thank uh, my public for hanging in there and being so supportive. I consider us a family. I really do. I, I consider us all of us to be a family. Whenever something happens, I let them know. And I appreciate their loyalty to Matt J and Herman. And, and I think the reason why is because we is relatable. People know folks like Matt J and Herman. People know folks like all them characters that I have, Herman's Mustard Brothers and my ignorant sisters and all of that. And people know folks like that in the church. Big Five, Pearl May, Thread Gear, folks know stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just a bunch of characters. It's yeah. probably about twenty of them, and so I, 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 I'm glad that people tune in to that. So we just yeah. have a good time. Thank you. But, but one more thing, actually, about thread gear. Now, thread gear okay. is. It, it, I want to just talk, talk about thread gear just a okay, little bit. Okay, come on. I got time. We fine. If you fine, I'm fine. I don't hey, mind. Great. Come on. Great. Okay. What well, thread gear is is the deacon in the church that I cannot. And at all, never could. He worked alongside of Herman, and he. I've been trying to get him to be taken off the boat because he come to church with E and J on his breath every time. Every time he come there, he been drinking, and I tried to tell Pastor, but Pastor he been they've been working together so long. You know how people be together so long they don't want them to go nowhere, so. I just beat them up. I jump on them every chance I get, every opportunity that I get. I I really want his wife. I really want her. But I settled for jumping on the tray again. Uh huh. Next question. Well, the next question is that new deacon. How about that new deacon? That the you one that wear all three of his three pieces of his suit. <laughs> yeah, yes, I, yeah. I, I 
can't stand him. I don't like him. Because he, for the simple reason, I don't like the way he kind of carries himself like he more than other people. I, I'm going to end up, I know I'm going to end up, me and him going to go toe to toe. I, I already know that. I know that. Um, oh. uh, I don't even know his name. I don't care. <laughs> I, I don't like him. He, he know when I first met him, he had all three pieces of vest, jacket, and pants. And I just told you, I, I said, I'm gonna, it's going to take a while, baby, for me. He young. I said, it's going to take a while for me to warm up to you. I'm just letting you know right now. Oh, man. Oh, um, man. But and yeah. another thing, Matt, Matt J, is that yeah. the, the ladies get to shout. Who? The, the ladies the get to shout in church. Yes. Uh-huh. And sometimes I notice that Herman want to kind of assist sometimes. So that seems to be a problem. Why do he want to assist, uh, Matt? It's, it's, it, 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 you know what? It ain't just Herman. I'm going to say that, too. It's all the deacons. <laughs> I told them that's not their job. It's not men's job to try to grab women's when they shout. That's just inappropriate. But they feel like, because, you know, sometimes we got violence out, you know, women that jump pews and uh -huh. stuff like that. Uh -huh. And the men feel that they got to grab them because they men's. Mm -hmm. I said, uh, me and Florine and the squad, we got them under control because most of the time when they doing it, they ain't in the Holy Spiritual anyway. And so God, the Lord our God, give me, he give me a spirit of discernment. And if you ain't shouting for real, Matt J gonna know. I'm gonna know if you ain't shouting for real. And then if you ain't, then I'm gonna take care of you. And after I told Herman, I said, don't, don't, don't grab them women. I said, you don't, you don't. If one hit the floor and you grab them, you gonna hit the floor right alongside. <laughs> Right down under there like that, don't fly up. So is. Next question. Oh, uh, yeah. much, man. But uh, I, I want I want to know also, man, is there about fluorine? Okay. Fluorine. <laughs> fluorine is she is my co-usher, being her been on the battlefield literally about forty years. She my best friend and co-usher. Florine is my warrior. She a little bit of one, a little bit small in stature, but she quick. She quick. And she, she me and her work good together in our fights and things. We kind of hand off to each other, tag team. Yeah, she real quick. But I got brute strength, but Florine is quick. She even to flip somebody, they don't even know they be up in the air and hit the floor. They don't even know what to have from wings so quick on them. And mm -hmm. most of the time, she put a cigarette out on them too for just <laughs> an added little a, a, extra. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Love, Florine. Love. <laughs> mm -hmm. what, next the, the next thing I want to ask you, uh, Matty J, I was watching a video. Yes, sir. Of you and Hannah. You were talking about when he used to work for the cable company, uh -huh. and how the young lady would come to the door on a yeah. So let's talk about that a little bit. <laughs> yeah, come to the door in seductivity. See what they be wanting. I'm Dave, bro, man. What they want is they wanted to get off, of, get a discount on their bill. <laughs> And so they feel like when Herman come over there, you know, if they can seduce him, then they get discounts. Herman told me one time he was on a job and this real exercise woman saw him and told her, her her TV was in the back room. And he went back there. He said he had his back turned. And all of a sudden he heard something that said, Psh. He looked around and she done got on one of them uh, beds that you had to blow up, be on the floor. What them beds called? Air mattress. Yeah. She done laid on the air mattress and all the air went out of it. Her mattress was about 310, 315. 
she try to seduce him with a little small kimono thing on like this and thing. And I and he said he just had to get out of the car. He said she was so big, he, she had a grabber. He was, she just took him down. Oh, wait, down. Oh, uh, uh, it's a mess. These women, these apples are mess. Mess. They go on in the church too, but you know. Oh, uh, man. And, and the same video, I want to, I, I know she told him that let you, you're going to ride with him, and when he knocks yeah. at the door, yeah. uh, you're going to scoop down, <laughs> down in the truck. Yeah. Kind of help handle that situation. Scrunch down in the truck. I get down and scrunch down. And if Herman come and tell me, like, if he leave out before he finish the job, that let me know that the, the help of the tribe on something. She done tried something on him. Okay. He, 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 he can't lie. He horrible at lying. And so okay. I asked, what, what happened? You, you back my advance. What happened? And then he get to fumbling and stuff like that. I said, okay, give me your tool belt. I'm going to go in and say I'm your replacement. <laughs> Lord, I beat two or three women's up on there. Uh -huh. so you don't do that. You don't. That's the that, that tack. Tack. Help, that's the worst in the world. Tack and help is the worst. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, yes. Thank you so much, Madam J. Thank you. You're welcome. This has been a joyful interview and a joyful show. Uh, you have blessed me tonight. Oh, God bless you. Thank yeah. you. Thank yeah, and you. I know you have, you have blessed the audience because they are mm. uh, crowding my time right about now. So it is wonderful. Yes, sir. So I want you to tell Herman that I said hello. <laughs> I can't tell Herman. Wait a minute. Herman. Herman. Come <laughs> Herman. Say hello. Don't you put your face in here. Just say hello to Mr. McNair, please. Can you do that and act like you got a sense of ignorance, of uh, moderation? Just <laughs> speak to the man. He just want to speak. He told me, hey, hey, the public's on. Just say something. Oh, so how you heard? <laughs> yes, ma'am. He sound like he got rocks in his, his throat, don't he? Yeah. And my last question, I'm going to let you go, Mary J. I want to okay. know about them new drama, them new drama that you had to go to Walmart and put on him. Yes. Uh-huh. He advised, I, whenever he gets in trouble, he he go home. I tell him to put on his pajamas. And it's showing up he real. Listen, see that? <laughs> I'm shutting the door on. I'm shutting the closed door on. Uh, the pajamas <laughs> is for when I, see, when I beat them, I beat them to sleep. <laughs> and I just known in the past with my past beatings of him, is that he'll fall asleep and he have on all the clothes. And he he be in such a deep sleep that he can't wake up and he wear the same clothes next day. So I tell him when I know the whipping is going to come on with full whip station, mm -hmm. I tell him, go on, get his pajamas and put them on. And everything matches his magic uh, house shoes and stuff like that. So uh, when he put them on, he already be ready for bed. That's all. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's what them pajamas are all about. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, Thank sir. You. This, this, yeah, is my well. last, this is my last question, man. That's my last question. Okay. <laughs> no, I, I can't actually slide it for an uh, hour, so that's okay. Whatever okay. you want. Well, let me, well, I, you, you gave me that long. Let me, let me go ahead. I got some more studies to talk about this. Okay, come on. So I just want to kind of be obedient to what, what I told you, so you give me a little that's more right. time. I appreciate that. I yeah. appreciate it. Yeah, you know, I also very interested about the the barbecue. I always uh, the guy that always cooking you barbecue at a certain time of the year. Oh, Let's talk about him. Give a Yes, that's my meat man. Yeah, give a That his folks used to own uh, this shack, and you, when they died, give Ray inherited it, and he all he he got the best meat in the world. And so I get all my meats from Gil Ray. But me and Gil Ray just take it along. And, and most of the time, it's because, you know, he got strict rules. And you know, man, I, you, I don't like rules. 
I don't like nobody give me no rules, but give Ray gonna tell me what he mean and mean what he say. Mm -hmm. So most of the time I take my side piece with me when we get when I go over to his house to his shack around. And um <laughs> and I you know get to shoot. We do it every year. I don't know why he gets his feelings hurt by he got a wife named Mildred. Give Ray stand about he stand about six four. Uh, Mildred stand about six nine. Now I fight give a race before I fight Mildred. Hey, I, I don't want none of Mildred. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Mildred, she a bad. <laughs> <laughs> next question. The next question. Let's talk about the pastor. Now you, you and yeah. the pastor, y'all come sometimes. He had kind of get on you sometimes. Let's talk about the pastor a little bit. Yeah, pastor. <laughs> I love it. I have, I love my pastor. Nobody better not say nothing about my pastor because I love him. He a fat man. Uh -huh. Whenever he puts me out or he suspends me, he's warranted in it. He's supposed to do that. But he'll have meetings with Matt and Jay and tell me what I'm supposed to do. Not all the time do I follow his direction. And most of the time, you know, uh, pastors know that I'm going to do something. <laughs> but pastor is faint at heart, literally. And most of the time when I have my fights at church, he ends up falling out and the deacon boat have to take him in the back and stuff. So he missed most of the action anyway. But he a real sweet man, real humble. His wife, I, I love them both. But he he know that he re he know I, he need me just to keep order. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I just go overboard and pastor can't talk to that's all that is. Mm -hmm. let's, let's talk about your white man's attorney. White man's attorney. Got McDay. Yes, <laughs> Yes. They, Scott and Big Dave have been with me for, oh, Lord, probably about 20 years now. Taking care of me. The reason why I hired them in the first place First, they said they weren't going to charge me. They wasn't going to charge me because I was an elderly woman. And so they put me on a Sonny Bono plane. Mm -hmm. And so they don't charge me whenever they take my case. They got case books and stuff on Matt J. Stock. I, I got my own room in their office of the cases and things that I done got off. And they work correspondently with my White arresting officer ran. Ran to come get me, and he don't let nobody, can't nobody else arrest me. Nobody. If I have, if it come to me, most of the time, Scotty Big Dave will get me off. But if they said, Miss Maddie J, you're going to have to do jail time for this, then Randy arrest me. Nobody but Randy, because he takes care of me when I, you know, spend the night. I got my own setup and everything. And my overnight case, I keep in the car with me when I'm gonna do a little time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, sir. I'm giving y'all an opportunity on time now. Y'all got a more questions to ask uh, Manage Jay. I was kind of relating the message. If y'all got any questions, if not, Manage, we're gonna end this show. Okay. Has, as I said, it has been wonderful, and I want to thank you. Yes, sir. For giving me this opportunity to yes, interview you and to have a conversation with you. Yes, sir. As I have stated, as we open up this show that I have been following you a whole year now, I'm not a new public, I'm old public. You're old public. Go ahead. Yeah. Go I done, ahead. I done, I done, I done graduated. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, if you have anything else you want to say before we go, on, go out the Zoom room. Uh, no, just I thank everybody for tuning in and just know that whenever I'm not on, that means I'm either on the road or working. You know, now you do know I'm working with uh, the actor Coleman Domingo and his his production agent, easy, easy production. So we got some things that we're doing. I can't, I'm not at liberty to really talk about it now, but just know that God is great. Yeah. And so continue praying up for us on that. But otherwise, if I ain't on, you know, doing that or on the road, I try when I'm on the road, I try my best to, you know, to keep in touch with the public and try to do little other different things. 
But other than that, just pray for Matt J and Herman. God has opened so many doors. Yes. And we appreciate it because it's because of y'all that we are where we are. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to ask God to continue to bless your ministry. Thank you. Because Thank this you. is a this is a ministry. Laughter. Yeah. Laughter is good for the soul. Yes, uh, yes it is. And I, I want to thank you because you have blessed so many people all thank across you. this country. Yes, thank you. I mean, they, they are very appreciative. I can tell by the timeline when I be watching yeah. your lives yeah. and stuff that the public is they be coming in all over, all over all, the United all, States. All over. All, yes. over. all over. So again, thank you again and stay blessed. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna always petition you before God to bless your ministry. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Because I, because I know he, he will do it. Yes, sir. He will he, be he, able he to do it. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. So thank yes. you again and, and stay blessed, Maddie. Yes, sir. You too. Until next time we talk, okay? God yes. bless you. I love you. Mm -hmm.